What up? Coming to you live from my next K car. I think I'm gonna get this Minica. I told you guys when I saw this car two weeks ago that I really liked it. It's only $3,200. It has some cosmetic flaws that I showed you, but the comment section said that it wouldn't be too hard to fix. So I'm thinking of getting this car. I'm currently in Jersey with the beat. You guys saw my last video. Me and Will went to look at a couple sandbars. He's not really sold on any of them. So he's either gonna get a Honda Z that Josh has coming in in a couple months, or he's gonna get the Alto. If he gets the Alto, which I was planning to be my next car, I figured I'd get the Minica. I know this car isn't the best looking. It's pretty boring. There's not a lot of thrills to it, but I feel like you guys should have enough confidence and faith in me that if I tell you I can buy this car for $3,200, give me a month time and I can completely transform it. I could completely transform it from a boring looking little hard boiled egg to a very, very exciting K car. So we're actually gonna drive it today. He put his dealer plate on. I'm gonna go, I'm not gonna go on the highway. I'm not gonna go too far. But last time all I did was drive back and forth and that's really not a real road test. So I wanna actually go on a real, real test drive and see exactly how this car feels. So for the people who didn't see my last video, this is a 1997 or 1998 Minica. It's a three cylinder carbureted, no real thrills. These come in a Dangoon version, which is four wheel drive and turbo. Those are sick. I show a picture of the screen right now, how those look. This one is just your standard, very, very base model K car. The exterior besides the hood is in really good condition. I wouldn't want to paint the entire car, but I would question if I only painted the hood over white and I got all that fixed, if it would blend nicely with the entire car. But here's how it looks. Definitely need some rims. Got to fix some areas like that, like that but those are things you only see if you're really up close. Let me pop this. Got some storage back here, a lot more than my Honda Beat. These seats go down flat. Not a lot of room for passengers, so I basically have another two-seater. Door cards are in good condition, roll-up windows on both sides. These back seats are flawless, seeing how no one really sat back there. This is good, it's automatic, three-speed though, not CVT. Comes with AC, aftermarket radio. Love box is good, has 66,000 kilometers, so pretty low. Let's pop the hood and let me show you guys the reason it's $3,200. So you have some bubbling and rust right here. Luckily in the middle, where the most of the support is, it's pretty flawless on both sides. But then you have some more right there, a little more up there. And I don't know how much this will cost, but I want to say about like 500 bucks to fix. I think they could fill it in and hopefully stop it from getting all the way, you know, over there. At least like over here and everything is in really good condition. It seems like it's just this corner that's really bad. So maybe I could bring it to a couple body shops, get a quote. That's really the only thing stopping me from buying the car because when it comes to wrapping, getting rims, getting some cool aftermarket mods, spoiler, you know, all that other stuff, that's not hard for me to find at all. I even found a hood for this car. I put a picture on the screen right now. I think it was like $90, but it would take three months to get here in a container. So I don't think I'm gonna have this car for three months. I don't think this car is gonna be here three months from now. This is an amazing price. But here's a look under here. I actually already ordered an air filter, plugs and wires from Japan. So that should be here maybe next month or maybe a couple weeks from now, honestly. And then under here, surprisingly, I don't know if it's surprisingly, but as you can see, it's dry. Very clean, pinch welds, everything is in good condition. It just, I don't know how this happened. Even the hood that I showed you guys earlier, it even has some rust here. So maybe this was just a manufacturer flaw, honestly. But there you have it, Mitsubishi Minica. Now let's do the most important part. Let's go on a test drive and let's see how this thing feels. Starts right up. AC. something to work on radio it's off how do i turn it on oh wait i just got it speakers Ooh, nothing come on no love all right radio doesn't work more videos to be made first time driving a mitsubishi minica on the road Last time I was here, I went about these same speeds, 40 kilometers an hour, and the car feels good. Brakes work good, e-brake works, turn signals and everything work. 
I just want to go a little faster. I want to go about 45 miles per hour. Because if this is going to be my daily, you guys know, whenever I get a K car, it's my daily. And seeing how the beat's going to be gone very soon, I'm going to only have this minigun. I don't want to have a problem K car. Cruising at these speeds, it feels good. 60 kilometers an hour. Let's see if I punch it. Okay, picks up a little bit. Transmission feels good. Horn work, horn works. Let me see if I get up to 80. 80 is about, I think, 40, close to 50 miles per hour. Yeah, it feels good, it feels good. I don't trust it, so it, it just like, you know that feeling when you first drive a car, it's like, it's probably things that are going wrong in your head that aren't actually going wrong. It feels a little loose, if that makes sense. Like maybe the tires are dry rotted, I haven't even checked. But, as of right now, I mean, it feels like an automatic K-car. Can I see myself driving this? I think this honestly would be more of a flip project because if he doesn't buy the auto, I think I'm gonna also buy the auto. So I'll sell the beat, get this, transform this quickly, maybe in like 30 days. Do like a 30 day challenge of, I buy a K-car and I turn it from ugly to beautiful within 30 days. Because I don't really see myself driving this car for too long. Although I say this now, and I say that about the Honda Life, and that was to this day still one of my favorite K cars. But I don't know, it just, it's fun, it drives good. I mean, I punch it. It's picking up, it's picking up some speed. But I don't know, if I get the Alto, a turbo version of basically the same exact car, hot hatch, I don't see how. I love this one and love them together at the same time because they're kind of the same car. This one's automatic, that one's automatic, the other one is just turbo. But as of right now, I think I'm pretty sold. I think that next video will probably be picking up my K car or I, I just picked up the, the Minica because I'm sold. I, there's just nothing more that this car can do. I mean, having it on the highway, that's the only thing, but I don't really want to take it on the highway seeing how it's not my car. But temp gauge works it's sitting really nice got gas in it i mean i could put it in l let's see i did this last time put in two it is a lot faster if i do it like that but just chilling and drive even the car is good i think i'm going to reverse i think the last time i reversed it was a little hiccupy so i gotta look into that but let me turn into this parking lot let's drive back this is just the fact that it's on 12s i gotta check the tires go in this parking lot it just feels bouncy if that makes sense i mean i'm also used to driving a beat which is pretty planted and low to the ground okay, let me park this in this parking lot let's do one more 360 and then i'm gonna drive the car back let's see okay all right it feels good it feels good let me just park it right let's check if we have any leaks under here looks good let's pop the hood how is this three cylinder 660 cc looking doesn't smell like anything i got some new plugs and wires like i said coming soon i got a new air filter that thing is probably gunky give this a nice detail maybe put some led lights clean it up a lot because it needs a nice clean but coming soon honestly i'm sold i am sold i'm not gonna say it's purchased just yet but it's 99 i just gotta get it home work out all the numbers and details with him get the title because it does come with a u.s title which is amazing and i think i found my next skate car all right so let's drive this back enjoy it one last time before it comes back to queens and like I said, I think I'm pretty much sold. I got some ideas already. I don't want to tell you them just yet, but I think that we could transform this car in less than a month from ugly to really, really nice to wow, I want to buy this car. It's definitely worth at least $7,000 or maybe do a fun raffle. And, and if even if like, let's say, nah, I was going to say, let's say I don't make it really nice. I am going to make it nice. But let's say I make it nice and it doesn't cost me too much money. I wouldn't mind doing like a 
$25 waffle and making it super affordable and not doing too many slots seeing how I only paid 3200 for it but let's gun it let's actually push it right now right, that, that shift change felt good going 70 wow that was good that, that was the 80 kilometers an hour and that felt good that felt good that was that was it could hang in the highway let's just say that it could definitely hang in the highway and just like that i'm sold remember the name this is way before the fame